guys barry gaming here back with some more idle heroes news for february 1st 2024 and we have a decent amount of stuff to talk about today over the course of a couple videos first up we're going to be talking about next week's event so this is the last week coming up before both chinese new year and valentine's day on a double week here uh so this one's still pretty boring this is another chance for you guys to try to save as many gems as possible on your account because well unless you're spending this week is pretty much a hard pass it's just a normal imps adventure it is a normal campaign event loot nothing really special however if you're willing to spend a little bit you might be able to get a ton of prism starry gems which might be a pretty good deal for what you're going to get. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into the news. So, new update. Asriel is on the front. Not really for any important reason, but we do have four Imps Adventure Dice and 100 of these Starfish as the campaign event loot drop for every single day's login. We, of course, have the shelter mission, and there's that Azrael. Whew, this is probably one of the weaker shelter missions overall. Like, not many of these heroes have many uses at all on anybody's account. Arania, I mean, of course, like, these two over here are Transcendence heroes, but, like, these are heroes you probably should not build on your account. Saya and Panda, um, again, not really ones that are useful. I think Panda might be a decent tenant, for like Vessa or something, I can't remember. But then the middle two Eos and Forces, please don't go for the light and dark ones this week at all. Like it's not worth the gems, not worth the food. Uh, do the regular four factions because, of course, getting those Imps Adventure is important because we do have this Imps Adventure right here. You might get two to three additional treasure train tickets, but nothing super special here whatsoever. You, of course, are getting the 50 campaign event loot drops for every single chest you get to. And usually with the smash function with all 78 dice this week, you will get to 200 or above, sometimes even 230. Uh, the smash function in Imps Adventure just seems to be so good nowadays that doing it manually just seems a little foolish, to be honest. So make sure you get that done. Uh, if you are going for multiple loops, you will get some additional treasure train tickets, but spender territory right there we of course have the deep sea treasure with those starfish there uh again going continuing to go for the star spawn cores is one of the best things you can do everybody should get to 2500 points but if you do have some saved universal crystal shards consider doing something up here we don't have confirmation just yet if this pay to an artifact chest this mysterious artifact selection chest here has the auspicious lucky cat if it does maybe grab that if you are trying to accumulate stuff but again, you usually accumulate around 2,500 during this week. So getting to 3,600 is a stretch. However, getting to 3,000, not too bad. We do have a Moonlight Gift. So this one is interesting. Um, so really interesting, actually. So 500 VIP is what? Is 500 VIP 10 bucks or 5 bucks? I know 2,500 is 50, right? <laughs> so this is kind of interesting here you're getting 1800 just from doing this which overall seems like a pretty good deal uh considering normally you'd only be getting like 1250 for this if you're buying actual art sorry gem packs like that's not too bad but when you also combine it with the fact that there is a relay and i think this is like a 75 dollar relay something like that uh this is an interesting one does have imps adventure dice it does have some gems and some treasure train tickets but it also has a big chunk of prism starry gems which of course can be converted to regular starry gems and used on the auction house and some contract starry gems it has two tiers of contract equaling up to 500 contract starry gems and then i believe the total here is what 1250 15 1875 it's just over 2000 prism starry gems on top of that, you're getting what? 4, 8, 16, 21 treasure train tickets. You're getting 45 cores of transcendence. You're also getting, uh, oh wait, did I even count this four over here? Did I? No, I didn't. 4, 8, 12. You're getting 25 treasure train tickets, so not bad. And of course, you're getting double the rewards on Imps Adventure, so that helps you in a bunch of other things here. And if you're basically buying out this relay package right here, you're going to get the Moonlight Gift. So 
Uh, that's pretty good. So what's the 1800 and then you're getting like another over 2000. So you're almost getting 4000 prism starry gems. Oh, wait, there's even another 250 down here. So you're getting 750 contract starry gems to use during like soul awakening sessions and, and galas and stuff. So that's pretty good value because overall, besides that this week, like there are value packages, but uh definitely stay away from these there's only imps adventure dice and gems there's really no special event there's no need to purchase any of the value packages however the relay package seems like a really 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 good deal on this so uh if you need starry gems this is definitely what you need to do this combo is actually pretty pretty solid so just jumping in game to confirm the prices and everything and the VIP and all that nonsense. Yeah, 2,500 points is most definitely 50. And uh, so essentially the check marks here for this event are going to be uh, spending $10, spending 20, actually $30, and then up to 50 because it, the checkpoints for this one is 500, 1,500, and 2,500. Uh, but essentially what you're getting based off that is uh, 1800 which I mean when you compare it to this is pretty good 1800 for for 50 bucks uh, it's basically actually is that the same equivalent here actually never double check this uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, you, you get a little bit more if you were to actually buy but this is just the moonlight gift that we're talking about so when we're talking about the special part of this that's the moonlight gift portion that's not even counting the relay package so if the relay package is sitting at around 70 i mean you can figure if you're spending pretty much you're buying these three up you'd get 12 uh 16 17 18 i mean it's definitely close you're getting pretty close to the same amount of prism starry gems however when you do take a look at this you're getting a whole lot more that's not even talking about the extra what 19 imps adventure dice which might get you like one more checkpoint up you're getting 25 plus treasure train tickets you're getting a lot of different resources here uh so that's looking pretty good Besides that, streaming right now has been a little bit difficult for me. That's just why you haven't seen many. We will probably not have a stream tonight since there's nothing really special going on in the game. However, we will have a special live stream coming up on Chinese New Year, which at this point is just a week away. During that live stream, uh, we are going to be jumping on. We are going to be taking a look at the events and we're going to have a special exclusive CD key code from Barry Gaming. Don't know exactly what it's gonna entail or what it's gonna include. Uh, all I know is I got a free code for you guys and we will get you some good stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy So Let me know what you guys think, hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to 91,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it so, so much. And I'll see you guys next time.